Greetings citizens of the world. Chancellor Angli Merkel is sending her German Gestapo, a group of anti-Trump individuals who will tour the United States helping the Democrats in their efforts to oust President Donald Trump. This shocking move by Merkel is meant to fly under the radar in an operation called Wonder Bar Together, which they admit is to replace Trump's America First agenda. This must be stopped. Here's what Americans need to know. Chancellor Angli Merkel is hellbent on getting rid of her nemesis President Donald Trump. Many patriots may not know Merkel is a huge threat to Trump, and she's working with leftists in America on several fronts to oust our duly elected president. The German front includes Google, who recently was caught naming Merkel the leader of the free world, which has always been a common title reserved solely for the President of the United States. The President's enemies are vast, and now we find out about this new operation called Wonder Bar Together. The leftist media outlet, Mother Jones, reported, before Trump came along, America's relationship with Germany was cozy. After the election, during his final tour as president, Barack Obama stopped in Berlin to emphasize transatlantic relations and have a three-hour private dinner with Merkel, whose policies were already under attack by Trump. Clearly, Obama was already colluding with Merkel to stop Trump. Mother Jones explains the reason this operation, which will start in October, right before the midterms, came about. The anti-Trump report adds, President Donald Trump pulls two Starburst candies out of his suit jacket pocket and throws them on the table in the direction of German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Here, Angela, he says, do say I never give you anything. This scene, from day two of the G7 summit in Canada this past June, was an apt metaphor for the strange relations between the two nations since Trump came to power. For America's president, the relationship with our closest European allies is all about trade imbalances, unfair, and military spending, too low. For baffled German officials, the question has been how to deal with an erratic leader who contradicts, and often fires, his staff, changes his mind willy-nilly, lies with impunity, and goes out of his way to offend America's friends while flattering autocrats in countries like Russia and North Korea. Germany's answer, wunderbar, wonderful, together. You can clearly see in what spirit this entire operation has been founded on. This is a $20 million dollar offensive targeting Trump country, also known as the flyover states, and they are coming to your kids' schools. German President Frank Walter Steinmeier himself will act as the leader of this operation. We want to talk to people in the USA about the issues that are important for our society freedom, diversity, responsibility, the future of work, digitization, energy, climate and sustainability, science and education, culture, lifestyle, and German traditions, says Andreas Skorgen, head of the Foreign Office's Culture and Communications Directorate. We want to get in touch with people, not just on the coasts, but from Kansas to Alabama. Mother Jones reported, with the rough outline in place. A team from the Gouda Institute, eight Americans and eight Germans, convened in Washington, D.C., to start planning the events, with the broader goal, according to Gorgian, of supplementing America first with Wonder Bar together. It all sounds so innocent. But when you read between the lines, and the timing of the operation in October, this is Merkel's Gestapo coming to America's heartland to steal Trump voters for the Democratic Party. They aren't going to supplement America first with Wonder Bar together. This is obviously part of the globalists' agenda to take America back and put us on back the road Obama had us on, to becoming part of their sick one world order. If you hear about this operation coming to your town or county, make sure you warn people what the real goal is with Wonder Bar together. This is an anti-Trump. Anti-America operation targeting our kids and all American citizens to help the Democrats take back control. We just rejected turning America into an open border Islamic state, and that's what Merkel is selling. We will not be fooled again.